Hi friends, uh, this is Venkata Krishna from Chris Software Solutions. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about what are all the advantages of TestNG, why we need TestNG along with Selenium, uh, what is the importance of TestNG role in the part of Selenium automation we are going to discuss now. TestNG is very much popular nowadays. Each and every Selenium project, most of the Selenium projects, older days and all we used to use the J unit, but nowadays everybody most of the projects we are uh, implementing with the testng framework our uh, testng framework not only the testers sometimes in the part of the unit testing the development team also can use the uh, testng and these uh, features provided by testng are very much useful to the selenium automation so those all things we're going to discuss in this video and coming to the selenium part so what is TestNG? TestNG is a open source framework where NG means next generation, where NG refers to the next generation. So it is mainly used for the testing related uh, uh, unit test cases or Selenium test cases or functional or integration. So anything we can uh, develop with TestNG framework. It is inspired from the J unit and uh, N unit, but when compared to those tools, TestNG is so very much comfortable to the developer. So what are all the annotations it is giving? So what is the meaning of annotation? Let I will explain you. And specifically is uh, TestNG is designed not only for testers, as I told you. So even development people also can use uh, by using the TestNG framework. Similarly, so QA analysts, most of the times it is using because Selenium doesn't provide any inbuilt uh, report generation for us. Selenium doesn't have any capability to generate the reports, whereas TestNG will provide us the facility to generate the reports and all. If normally we are writing our scripts in each and every class, to run n number of classes at a time, it is not possible with Selenium. Okay, so that is also a reason we need to go for TestNG. So Selenium is the thing it is providing for us to lo locate the elements, to perform the actions on the elements, and to work with the elements, Selenium is fine. But after that, you want to group your test cases. Like I want to run only my regression test cases. I want to run only my smoke test cases. That feature doesn't provide the Selenium. Again, we need to use the test engine. So to group your test cases, we need to go for test engine. So similarly, test engine framework is provide us so facility to run parallel test cases also. See, I have two machines. I want to run my scripts on two machines. Okay, so or I want to two machines and all again, we need to go with the Selenium grid. But whereas my point here is, I want to run my scripts in the same machine on multiple browsers. Chrome browser, IE browser, Firefox browser, I want to run. In that case, so with Selenium, it is not possible. Again, we need to use the TestNG. So TestNG, so by using TestNG, you can run your scripts parallelly on the same machine on multiple machine multiple browsers but you want to run on multiple machines that test engine will not provide that that we need to use the uh, selenium grid capabilities to perform the execution on multiple machines and all okay so these are all the few advantages it is a open source we can download and directly use the test engine we no need to purchase and all not required for this test engine is a open source framework why do we need testing? I hope you understand now. It is able to generate the reports. It is going to group the test cases. It is going to give the reports in readable format. And we no need to buy this. It is a open source one and easily understandable to anybody. And very, very important thing is, see, for example, you are running a Java program. Some exception, uncatched exceptions are came. Then what will happen? What Java is going to do? It is going to throw an exception to you and it will stop the execution there. But if at all you are using your scripts using TestNG, it will handle all the uncatch exceptions. Wherever you are not catching the exceptions, then TestNG will take care of that. So that is the other advantage of the TestNG. So for example, you are running the 20 scripts, 10th script you are not catching the exception and you want to run remaining 10 test cases also, then one way is you need to implement the try catch mechanism in your script then it will continue 
if you are not using also by using test ng it will continue with the remaining 10 scripts execution also so that that means uncatch exceptions will be properly handled by using test ng similarly so test ng very much famous in the companies and all the people are using so along with the selenium i already covered most of the selenium uh, videos and i started with the test ng so if you know selenium with test ng and maven and as well as git and jenkins so these are all the different areas in real time we are implementing if you know all these concepts anywhere you will go you will get a job no, no doubt about it okay you need to know proper all the concepts in selenium all the concepts in test ng so and um, how to work with the maven and how to integrate maven with the jenkins and how to store your code into a git repository along with selenium grid implementation so these are all the areas real time also we are using if you know all these things getting a job is very easy nowadays selenium so many openings are there in the market so you need to grab the opportunity if at all you know you are perfect in all these areas then getting a job is very easy on selenium okay but along with this java also you need to be perfect i am planning to record some videos on java so so if at all you did not like the, uh, or subscribe to my channel please do that so that whenever i do a new video then you will get it in your uh, box in your mobile okay that's fine so test ng features over yuli it supports different annotations annotation meaning is it is containing the predefined functionality annotation means it is already defined its functionality what to do okay so at the rate test annotation before test after test before method after method before suit after suit before test after test so these are all the few annotations we are having in the coming videos i will cover more detail about that but coming to the test ng features it it uh, contains the annotations it supports parallel testing it supports parameterization and the data driven testing also possible by using data providers and you want to for example one class is having 20 methods but i want to run only 10 methods i don't want to run remaining 20 methods that is also possible by using include exclude in the method level and you can set the priorities which order you want to run one class is having 10 methods i want to run in this order only then in that case you can set the priorities based on that priority it will run okay so that way it, it will and, and as i told you it is going to generate the reports for us so user friendly reports but in real time so we are going to most of the projects we are going to use extent reports that is also some limited functionalities it is a open source for us that, that extent reports is containing the graphs pie charts and all so that will help even clients also whenever we are sharing the reports to the client easily you will find out how many test cases are passed how many failed which browser which environment and all so most of the projects in real time also we are using uh, extent report in some extent it is a open source if you need more features and all then it is a licensed we need to purchase it but for the selenium point of view open source one is fine for us okay so advantages of test ng as i told you again i am repeating here so on the top of jnut only based on the jnut they have made it as a, a test ng and here annotations will be there by using annotations only we are going to perform the testing and as well so and you cannot return anything from the test ng method always a written type should be void okay you cannot return anything from the uh, test ng method so that is one point you need to remember how it is practically i will uh, cover so it will enable you to group of uh, your test cases so you can group your test cases you want to run 10 different classes all the methods that is possible with test ng that is not possible with selenium okay so you want to run 10 classes with all the methods in it that is only possible by using test ng okay so that is the important feature it is providing for us and uh, you no need to extend any class here just you need to install the test ng and use the annotations that is fine how to install i will show you 
and also one more feature it is providing is depends on methods for example two methods are there second method is dependent on first method if first method will pass then only second method will be executed otherwise if first method fail second method will not execute see in some some of our projects and all based on one test case other test case need to execute in those cases also it is possible by using depends on methods okay so like this way see for example you want to you are having thousand test cases thousand test methods are there you want to run only smoke test cases yes that is possible okay so that is possible you want to run only sanity or you want to run only functional or regression so that is possible with test ng and also as i covered parallel execution of uh, different test cases on the different browsers in a single machine that is also possible by using uh, in the suit level parallel we can use it so like this way these are all the advantages of test ng where, where i can tell you so this is about something about test ng and test ng is used for what to maintain our test cases to group our test cases to execute particular uh, test type of testing test cases and we can implement uh, uh, depends on methods and we can implement the priorities and uh, what else and parallel testing is possible on different browsers so these are all the advantages of test ng so in the coming videos i will try to cover all these things practically so now we will see how to install the uh, selenium sorry test ng so come here open the eclipse okay open the eclipse go to the help and you can go to the install new software this is the window it is going to open and this is the uh, link uh, to install the test ng and all just you need to copy this and paste it here see can you able to see here test ng select this click on next so it will take some time to install it so like this way we can install the uh, test ng with eclipse I, I accept click on finish see it is installing installing software 3% is completed so like this way you can install test ng with the eclipse now you may get a question here so i want to use oh uh, can we use test ng from the jar also yes test ng jar will be there you can use that jar and you can add it into a build path that way also you can uh, work with the but what will happen is you need to have test ng in the eclipse also because sometimes in the annotations and all it will throw an errors if at all you don't have test ng with eclipse so this is how you can install the test ng once you installed it what will happen is go to the uh, any project go to the, this project and build path there is build path configure build path can you able to see here because already i installed again i am installing if at all you are able to see here test ng it means that test ng is installed successfully with your eclipse okay like this how you can confirm test ng is installed properly or not so because i already installed in my machine just to show you again i am installing that's fine so if at all you are having test ng here it means that test ng is successfully installed in your system okay now we can ready to go ahead with the test ng what are all the uh, in the coming videos i am going to cover what are all the different annotations how those annotations will work and uh, each and every annotation how the order of the annotations will work those all things we will try to learn in the uh, coming videos i hope you understand this video on the importance of the test ng again i am repeating in the real time also we will use test ng to write our selenium test cases and all oh but we are going to use the different annotations in it and we are going to use the test ng for grouping of our test cases for parallel testing also we can use here so these are all the different advantages with test ng thank you so much thanks for your time if at all so you likes this video please like my videos and subscribe it and encourage me to do more and more videos thank you so much